Hello everyone, myself Siddhant with my teammates Shreyan, Kartik and Mahima and today in this video we are going to explain our DBMS case study that is tennis tournament data model. So first let me give you introduction about our case study. So before we start the data model let us get some background about tennis. Tennis originated in England in the 19th century and is now played across the globe. Some of the major tennis tournaments include Wimbledon, the US Open, French Open and Australian Open. The purpose of this model is to provide details regarding how this system manages the activities in a quick and easy manner. This is a type of data model that deals with the creation, development, management and maintenance of tennis tournaments, league, series, etc. So coming to problem statement, consider a tennis tournament database that manages and records the information about the players, tournaments and results. The data requirements are summarized as follows. Tournament is identified by tournament name such as Wimbledon, US Open, French Open, etc. The name of the city and the country where the tournament is to be played or had been played, the start date, the end date of the tournament, number of rounds in the tournament and the type of surface that the tournament is to be played. Every tournament has players, each player has their unique ID, male full name, current age, gender, their world ranking which is defined by the tournament governing body. The matches of the tournament are identified on their types like singles, doubles for men's and women's and mixed two. Number of matches to be played in each category and the entire schedule of every match that is fixture should also be included. Each fixture has a unique fixture ID which has all the details about the ID of the players, the match is played between, the day, date and time of the match where it is to be played and the match result. Result contains details about about each fixture, the player ID of the winner and the loser of the match, the duration, the number of sets played and the scores of each set with the final score of the match. You can see more details about tennis here regarding match, set, how to win a game and information regarding their ranking. So this is the ER diagram of a tennis tournament data model. So ER diagram is basically a graphical representation which tells us about the relationship between the entities. So the text in the rectangle are our entities and text in the diamond shape tells us about the relationship between the entities and text in the oval are the characteristics of that entity. So in our ER diagram we have tournament as one of our entity and tournament have its name, start date and end date as its characteristics and type of code on which tournament is to be played which is hard, grass or clay and tournament ID here tournament ID is a primary key which will helps in uniquely identifying that tournament and uh, tournament is played to be at a venue and venue we have country continent location and venue ID as its characteristics and uh, every tournament have fixtures fixtures uh, tells us about the uh, matches to be played against which pill players and fixtures we have fixture ID match ID and date and time the fixture is to be played Fixtures have matches, matches have their own match ID and result ID, result ID which tells the winner and the loser of that match and we have match types, we have 5 match types in tennis, we have men singles, men doubles, mixed doubles, women doubles and women singles and the player ID, here player ID is the uh, ID of the players, the matches is played between and we have player as one of our ent entities, we have uh, Country, the player is representing age, gender, world ranking of that player, date of birth, name, player ID. Here, player ID is a primary key which will help in uniquely identifying that player. Loser ID and winner ID of that player. And last, we have result. Result will be having the match ID uh, which will be uh, holding, uh, tells about the which match, which match result is that. And uh, the match duration is to be played that match and number of sets played and the final score. Hi, I am Sam. Uh, so I would like to explain the double year diagram of our project, uh, of our case study, uh, that is tennis tournament data model. So we have six entities here, tournament, venue, fixture, result, uh, matches and players. And before going on to the e double year diagram, I would like to introduce it like ER stands for mm. enhanced entity relationship model which is just an extended version of the ER model that Karthik has just explained. So now uh, let us see a few terms that is generalization and specialization. So what exactly is generalization that one in generalization that multiple sub entities can be uh, 
converts into a super entity just like grand slam domestic events and international events these three sub entities have been con converged into a super entity this tournament and specialization is just the opposite of generalization that is tournament uh, super entity has been divided subdivided into multiple sub entities grand slam domestic events and international events so in er diagram we have already explained what are the primary keys foreign keys then uh, what are the attributes of each and every entity so i'm not going to explain on that and i am simply like to uh, show what what uh, the sub entities we have made in tournament we have divided in on the basis of tournament name that is tournament is divided into grand slam domestic events and international events and there we have used disjoint rule disjoint rule states that the so attributes of one sub entity cannot be a part of the other sub entities the wimbledon australian open us open french open they cannot be a part of domestic events like atp2 wpa2 and all they and they cannot be a part of international events as well and the same holds true for domestic events and international events as well that their attributes cannot be a part of the other sub entities then similarly we have divided matches super entity as three parts that is uh, three sub entities main events women's events and mixed events and here we have used disjoint rule again that is main events and it is a common sense that main events cannot overlap with women events or mixed events and this holds true for women events and mixed events as well and at last we have divided players on the basis of the player types that is domestic players or international players but here we have used overlap rule because domestic players who play uh, atp tours WTA tours or Davis Cup, they can play international events as well, like Grand Slams, Olympics, and all. And the vice versa also holds true. That means domestic players can act as international players, and the vice versa can also be applicable for them. So this was all about our enhanced entity relationship model diagram. Thank you. Now let us talk about schema of our case study. The term schema refers to the organization of data as a blueprint of how the database is constructed. The formal definition of a database schema is a set of formulas called integrity constraints imposed on a database. In our data model, there are six tables interlinked with each other. Starting with players table, its attributes are player ID, player name, winner ID, loser ID, date of birth, gender, country, age and world ranking. in which player id is acting as primary key and winner id and loser id are foreign keys giving reference to result id of table results in table results attributes are result id match id match duration set played and final score in which result id is primary key and match id is acting as foreign key giving reference to match id of table matches in table matches attributes are match id player id match type result id venue id in which match id is primary key and result id and menu id are acting as foreign keys giving reference to result id of results and venue id of venue respectively also player id is also a foreign key giving reference to player id of table players in fixture table attributes are fixture id fixture date fixture time and match id in which fixture id is acting as primary key and match id is acting as foreign key giving reference to match id of table matches in tournament attributes are tournament id tournament name start date end date surface type and venue id in which tournament id is primary key and venue id is foreign key giving reference to venue id of table venue in venue table attributes are venue id country name continent name and location in which venue id is acting as primary key so that's all about our schema hello everyone myself mahima dua and now let's start with the queries so we have the first query write a query to retrieve all the player names we have to retrieve the player names uh, who won all the matches that were played in australia so here is the solution uh, we have selected a player name from the table player and we use the concept of nested queries so uh, here we use the table results and we use uh, the table venue and we set country name equals to australia now let's try to run this on the online compiler yeah. 
so here is the output uh, now move on to the next query uh, write a query to retrieve details of all indian players now we want the details of indian players uh, who have won all the single type match and but also they lost all the double type match that were played in asian countries so uh, we selected uh, the info we have selected the information of the players and we set country is equal to india and we set match type equals to singles and the continent name it should be equal to asia because we want the uh, asian uh, we want uh, the country name it should be asian countries uh, we use the keyword intersect here because uh, in the first query we selected the information of all the players who won the single type but we also want that uh, that they also lost all the double type matches so uh, using intersect it will gives us the combined result of both the queries so uh, we set uh, here match type equals to doubles now we run this yeah so here is the output now move on to the next query we have uh, write a query to display the match details we want the match details which were played in north america a and with minimum of 8 set plates per match so what we have done here we selected the information uh, from the matches table and we uh, we uh, we said uh, we said played it should be equal to uh, greater than or equal to 8 because we want uh, that uh, it should uh, the set plate it should be minimum of 8 and we said continent name equals to north america so now we run this yeah so here is the output now move on to the next query write a query to uh, fetch all the tournament names we want all the tournament na names uh, that are played in france uh, but which started after the year 2008 so what we have done uh, we selected a tournament name from the tournament table and uh, we set country name equal to france and we set the date it should be equal to uh, it should be greater than it should be greater than 31st december 2008 because we want the result uh, because we want that the it should be started after the year 2008 now we run this now so here is the output now let's move on to the next query we have write a query to retrieve all the player names we want the uh, all the player names uh, who are in the top 10 world ranking and we also have to sort it in the increasing order uh, who have won all the double type matches played so far so what uh, what we have done we selected the player name and the world ranking from the player player table and uh, we set match type equals to doubles and we set world ranking it should be less than equal to 10 because we want the top 10 players and we use the clause order by because we have to sort it uh, in in ascending order so we order uh, we use the uh, keyword order by uh, order by world ranking in the ascending order now we run this yeah so here is the output yeah thanks for watching my video